72, Brooke Clark will go from two. 54 from Greymouth, Cohen Thompson from four. Jack Brownlee's 23 from five. 88, uh, Mac, Max Rawson from six. 77, Isabel Clark from seven. Eight, Romeo Warren Webb from eight. And I can't get any further, not enough time as we let these quarter midgets go as they come into the first turn. And it's the 54, Cohen Thompson, but he swung, spun himself up and uh, DJ Chilton had a lucky escape there as uh, Cohen just managed to park himself off the track, although it looks like DJ hasn't. He did collect him, and I see he's uh, dropped down into the infield. Yeah, very unfortunate for DJ Chilton. Uh, that front end looks like it's been knocked about a bit, and... Uh, what a flying start that was there for uh, Cohen Thompson. He absolutely had his foot up. It just lost a bit of traction, and uh, that's really going to hamper his chances of uh, winning this first heat. Folks, if you're looking at the cars, how interesting is that 71N car? It's uh, using uh, plastic perspex as the panels there. That is... Uh, let me think, who is that? Darcy Rasmussen, all the way from Nelson. That would be the best looking car I've ever come across and uh, hopefully he can perform well to uh, match the, uh, uh, the look of that car. Well, yeah. Ted Malachi Webb will go from grid nine. 54 C car, Jackson Clark from 10. The 67, the brother, Lakin Thompson will go from 11. 42 from Nelson, Leela Harper will start from 12. 21, Tom Everett from 13, the brother, Elder brother Ben Everett in car 12 from 14. That car Craig was talking about, 71, Darcy Rasmussen will go from 15. With another Nelson car, Monika Rawson in the 8 going from 16. 22, Miller Johnson from 17. 98, Jack Reed from 18. And, nine, and from grid 19 to 32 of uh, Macy Brownlees. Those three cars, uh, you might see a flag floating on them. They're still under the mentor program. But uh, a couple of them will be coming to the end of that uh, fairly shortly. So they're regridding them. Uh, first lap, so uh, almost a full restart. So uh, poor old DJ Shilton sits on the infield, but Brody Morris is out in the front on his own. Then the 72 of Brooke Clark. Cohen Thompson was at that 54 on grid four. So they picked the pace up once again for these quarter budgets for the first heat tonight as they come through. And it is Brody Morris in the 62 car that's out in front from the 23 of Jack Brownlees. But the Brook Clark in the 72 was looking for a move on the inside but couldn't quite uh, get it through. Now Brownlees goes to the front of the field from Brody Morris. Brooke Clark in the 72, holding that third spot, but coming under quite a bit of pressure from Isabel in the seven, eight, Romeo Warren Webb and 10, Malachi Webb side by side as they go down the back straight. Which one of the Webb boys is gonna come out a little bit further in front? It looks like it's Malachi going around the top side, but Jack Brownlees, comfortable lead so far. Second place is Isabel Clark, followed by Brody Morris. Malachi Webb in the bright 10 from the 72 of Brooke Clark. Those are the front runners as they swing round. Jackson Clark in there as well. And uh, we have another yellow as I think that's our, one of our leading cars. Brody Morris has uh, come to a halt in front of the value cars warehouse stand. Yeah, exactly right, Warwick. Uh, Brody Morris, who was going very well for two or three laps there, looks like he's either lost a chain or his uh, motor is uh, expired. So very disappointing for the 62 C car. He's a fast, improving quarter midget driver. But uh, Jack Brownlees has uh, made the best of his opportunity getting to the front. And the car to watch, I think, will be the 10 C, the uh, Dayglow Orange Malachi Webb. That car looks pretty racy tonight, and uh, he'll have a few laps to see if he can chase them down. Well, they've stacked them up again. Double line restart will be seven. Isabel Clark on what uh, we call grid one. Jack Brownlee's in the 23s, opted to go to two. Ten, Malachi Webb down in that uh, third grid from 72, Brooke Clark. Then eight, Romeo Warren Webb. Then the 67 of Lakin Thompson there. Following them around. We've got the couple of Nelson cars, uh, 
88, Mac Rawson, the 8 of Anika Rawson. We've also got the 41 of Leela Harper there as well as uh, Brody Morris comes to the infield. It's uh, pretty good racing, isn't it, Warwick? Uh, just these, remember, these kids are 8 to 16 years old, or 15 years old, I think's the limit now, and uh, they're really hammering it out. If you watch that first half dozen cars, they uh, foot flat all the way, driving on the steering wheel, and uh, how exciting being in a Canterbury Championship at Ruapuna tonight. Yes, that 71, Darcy Rasmussen stuck right in the middle of the pack. As they pick the pace up, Jack Brownlee's, he's the one that can start them off and he's got them away down the NPD 100 plus start finish straight and it's 23 Jack Brownlee who leads the way seven Isabel Clark holding that second position from Malachi Webb in the 10 and there's a good battle going on for that spot in behind eight Romeo Warren Webb's come up into that fourth spot getting ahead of the 72 of Brooke Clark as they swing on round 54, Jackson Clark coming on the inside of the 67 of Lake and Thompson. So we just look out across the far side and we see the white flag comes out. So Brownlees is on his way home. Malachi Webb looks like he's got that second place comfortable at this stage. Isabel Clark will still have to do some work in the last three quarters of the lap to keep Romeo Warren Webb out as they head into the prison bend for the last time. But it'll be 23. Jack Brownlee, who takes the first win in heat number one for the uh, Veggies Direct Canterbury Champs for the quarter midgets. Ten, Malachi Webb coming home in that second position from seven, Isabel Clark. Romeo Warren Webb gets the next spot from Jackson Clark, Lakin Thompson, Darcy Rasmussen, Brooke Clark. The Everett boys are in there as well. Leela Harper coming through. Young Jack Reed, 88, Mac Rawson, the 32 of uh, Macy. Brownlees sort of rounds out the field, but uh, a little bit of action, a little bit of trouble, but a good race for those quarter midgets for the first one tonight. Yeah, congratulations, Jack Brownlees. You've done what you needed to do in the first heat, taking it out in a very quick lap time, 18.3 seconds. That's staggering considering you've only got a 200cc Chenere engine in that car. So uh, Jack Brownlees taking out the first heat here at Ruapuna tonight. From five. Bacon Thompson in the 67 from Greymouth will go from 6. 54C Jackson Clark from 7. 10 Malachi Webb will go from 8. 8 Romeo Warren Webb will go from 9. With the 7 of Isabel Clark from 10. 88 Mac Rawson will go from 11. 23 Jack Brownlees from 12. 54 from Greymouth. Cohen Thompson starts from grid 13. With the 72 of Brooke Clark from 14. 62, Brody Morris goes from grid 15. 15, DJ Shilton from 16. And the mentor drivers, 98, Jack Reed goes from uh, 17. 22, Miller Johnson from 18. And 32, Macy Brownlees from 19. That's the starters for the second heat of the quarter. Fidgets for the Veggies Direct Cannery Champs as they come round into the starting box and underway all neat and tidy spread out across the track about four or five wide and it's Darcy Rasmussen who gets into that turn first just ahead of the eight of Anika Rawson Brownlee's in the 23 down on the inside and Malachi Webb on the top side and the 10 moves through the pack with Malachi Webb getting into that uh, second position it's Rasmussen from Malachi Webb there's one of the Thompson boys in there at 67 Cohen Alarkham Thompson it is and we've got a yellow for someone spun up down the far end. Brooke Clark. Brooke Clark, a bit far away from me to see who that is uh, from here. But they'll settle them down and get them underway, underway again. It was the Larkham Thompson. Or Lakeham Thompson was the one that was coming through the pack. Uh, Jack Brownlee's a little bit further back. So as they settle down, 71, Darcy Rasmussen and 8, Monika Rawson will be at the head of the field. Well, 
they've let them go as they head towards me again it is Darcy Rasmussen the 21 of Tom Everett sitting on the outside of Monika Rawson but the door opens and 54 Jackson Clark the Christchurch car moved through into that second position but it's Rasmussen from uh, Jackson Clark as they come on down, Monika Rawson still holding that third position from uh, Malachi Webb, who now goes round the outside. Romeo Warren Webb in the eights in behind. Monika Rawson there, and it is uh, Ben Everett who makes a move up on the inside. Next like Jack Brownlees is coming up the top side as well as they try and sort themselves out with a big gaggle of cars there. But it's still Rasmussen from Jackson Clark. Malachi Webb. And it is the uh, Ben Everett just leading Lachlan Thompson from eight. Romeo Warren Webb, Monika Rawson's just slipping back a bit as uh, seven as Bell Clark moves through a little bit further. Miller Johnson just goes round in front of me, but the pace is on at the front of the field. Darcy Rasmussen just moved out a little bit too wide there. And uh, Malachi Webb's made the move to the front of the field. Jackson Clark's now pushing Rasmussen pretty hard on the inside as they come down and they get the white flag the boys are on their way home Malachi Webb in the 10 car just out in front they're going to go around Miller Johnson Rasmussen coming under some pressure still from the Jackson Clark car then Ben Everett holding that fourth position but as they come along home and get the checkered flag it'll be Malachi Webb who takes the win from 71 Darcy Mass Russen from Jackson Clark Ben Everett, Larkham Thompson Romeo Warren Webb, Jack Brownlee, Slake, uh, Cohen Thompson, the next one in from seven, Isabel Clark, Monika Rawson, the 62 of Brody Morris, Tom Everett, Brooke Clark, and they just keep on coming. Jack Reed's in amongst them there as well. So yeah, another good run, but uh, yeah, Darcy Rasmussen, what a win for him. Yeah, super competitive in the quarter midgets tonight. Now, by my official count there, uh, Warwick, I think it was Malachi Webb that uh, won that race, and uh, Darcy uh, Rasmussen, uh, a very good race there for second, with Jackson Clark there for third. So uh, hopefully that is official according to the computer here. No, that's correct. I just uh, muddled them up around there. It was Malachi Webb that got through there. Uh, so many of these little cards from uh, memory round I can lose it pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we may just have to get you to move a little Warwick that uh, microphone is tr uh, popping in and out quite a lot there but uh, congratulations to Malachi Webb that really puts him somewhere near the front row for the Canterbury Championships which are coming up uh, in their feature race a little later today so uh, Malachi Webb uh, takes out the second heat of the quarter midgets tonight to do it pace vehicle moves in as these cars a brilliant field just uh, get, get more each time. There's uh, Darcy Rasmussen moving up to his grid position. So it is Malachi Webb on the outside of 23 Jack Brownlees. These two have had some fierce battles over their time, and it's sure to continue. Jackson Clark, vastly improved young racer in the last uh, season or so, and uh, eight Romeo Warren Webb. Well, he certainly got the... Uh, pedal to the floor in recent times as well, uh, benefiting from a, a change of car I believe as well or a new power unit but um, certainly going very well, Darcy Rasmussen sitting in that uh, third row as they come round and they get the start underway and it looks like it's the little Honda 200 of Malachi Webb who leads them through from uh, Jack Brownlee's Jackson Clark, Romeo Warren Webb there's uh, the 67 of Larkham Thompson uh, just getting the better of Darcy Rasmussen there as they swing through that turn. But the, the competition's certainly going to be up the front. Malachi Webb, just a car and a half's length there. No other change to the rest of the next one on the track behind the front mile will be the 12 of Ben Everett. Then we go back to Cohen Thompson as he comes round. And it looks like it'll be one of the Clark girls will be... Uh, Brooke Clark from Isabel Clark, then Brody Morris, then the eight of Monika Rawson, Leela Harper in the 42, DJ Shilton, uh, Tom Everett, 88, 
Mac Ross, uh, one of the Rawsons, I think it is Mac Rawson, and 98 Jack Reed. There's Miller Johnson going through, but it's getting tight at the front now as Brownlees looks to put a move on uh, Malachi Webb as they go down that back straight, and he's managed to get his nose in front to Jack Brownlees. Now leads Malachi Webb. Coming in, they're going to round up uh, Miller Johnson, put him a, a lap down. Cohen Thompson's got, uh, Lakin Thompson's got that third position from Romeo Warren Webb and Jackson Clark, then Darcy Rasmussen. Then I can see the blue tail of uh, Benjamin Everett in there circulating as well. Brownlees has just got himself two or three car lengths lead over Malachi Webb as they swing in on the run home into that uh, stadium finance prison bend. It will be Jack Brownlees who gets the checkered flag from Malachi Webb going back to the third position as they come through will be the 67 of Larkham Thompson from Romeo Warren Webb, 54 Jackson Clark, Rasmussen, then Cohen Thompson, Ben Everett, 72 Brooke Clark from Isabel Clark, Brody Morris, Monika Rawson, DJ Shilton, Leela Harper's in there as well. Jack Reed comes through, all of them through safely, but a good win there to Jack Brownlees as he comes round. There's Macy, there's the young sister. He just uh, goes in, so he goes in down to the victory lane, and we'll have a chat with him shortly. Yeah, congratulations to Jack Brownlees. He's taken out the Canterbury Championship for uh, consecutive years, and he really had to work hard for his uh, win today. Malachi Webb put some fantastic laps in, but it was the experience of Jack Brownlees who took out the feature and the Canterbury Championship tonight. Give it up, Royal Puna. Jack Brownlee's taking out the Canterbury Championship. Can he do it? Here he goes. Woohoo! <laughs> Good on you, Jack. A very well deserved win. And uh, those wins are getting harder and harder as the competition improves for you. And I think we've got Brendan Daly or Louise uh, Smith down there. And uh, we might get a couple of words with our uh, Canterbury champion, 23C, Jack Brownlees. Jack, you looked pretty happy to win that one. That Malachi put up a hard battle for you. How does it feel to win that one? Yeah, real good. Dad just told me, go out there and give it all you got. Um, I'd just like to thank all my sponsors, everyone who came out today. Dad put major work into this car and our mechanic and spent all week on this. So thank you to everyone. Thank you everyone came out and man Malachi, we're gonna have some good battles this year. Well, you gotta say that uh, Jack Brownlee's, he knows there's a challenge there and this kid is up for it. He's so super competitive but uh, some real great sportsmanship going on within the quarter midgets. And really got to say, Craig, that they put on some titanic battles, don't they, these oh, kids? Absolutely. And uh, watch out for uh, Jack Brownlee's in the next few years. He's done it again. And uh, this is valuable experience for the young fella as he travels to Australia in the near few, uh, next few weeks. to.